Hey everybody, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today we are going over to the forestry department of our local college to pick up some logs and bring them back to our log yard to run on our lumber mill because I think their lumber mill may be of broken right now, so they're waiting on some parts. Anyhow, uh, let's get into the video. Hey, we have a load of logs here that we picked up. Uh, they were over at our local college. Uh, the forestry department over there cut them. I, I believe the students actually cut the logs. And they have a really neat uh, system over there. Uh, I think it's a pretty good forestry school. It's a Penn, a Penn State, I don't know if it's an extension or not. I don't want to get it wrong. But it's a Penn State uh, campus with a pretty good forestry department. Anyhow, uh, they uh, just put in a beautiful wood miser mill. I think it's more on the industrial size, uh, far bigger than ours. And they don't have it up and running yet. So we went over and got these logs. Uh, even though the college cut them, it was for a landowner and they had sat for a while because of the mill being um, I guess installed so and of course everything being post-COVID they're they're waiting on parts and stuff for the final um, installation so we went and got them for the landowner and we're gonna mill them it looks to me it's sort of hard to tell what they are it looks like there's some white oak some red oak some black oak on there and the owner requested that we cut 4-4 lumber out of it. Um, I'm going to assume, although I, oh, I will speak with him, it'll just be random width, probably as wide as we can cut. A lot of times that's how landowners like it. But one of the things I wanted to mention, uh, just as far as like your mills go, if, if you own a sawmill, I know that a lot of people charge per board foot for custom sawing. Uh, you might be surprised here that we do not. I don't charge per board foot, I charge per hour. And I'll tell you what I charge. 
I charge 110 an hour. And if it was a dollar less, I wouldn't do it at all. Um, so that's where we are with it. We charge 110 an hour. The girls get through a lot of logs in an hour. And it just by doing it that way, we can know exactly what we're gonna make that day. And we can have it semi, you know, figured out. And then instead of keeping track of every board foot, of every board that comes off that mill, then we just have an hourly rate. So it makes things a lot easier for us. And it sounds like uh, maybe a significant amount of money, but when you think of all of the residual equipment we have beyond the mill to make that happen, you have a truck, a trailer, a way to to pick up the logs, which we charge 110 an hour for this as well. Uh, and then we have the tractor and the loader to, to move the logs. And then the slab wood has to be dealt with uh, that comes off of that. So uh, it makes sense that we do it that way. I know that some wood miser owners, uh, the landowners will actually physically help them uh, to keep the cost down. And again, maybe if you're doing that, you could charge a board foot rate. But with the girls on it, we, we just charge an hourly rate. They do, they move through a lot of material very quickly. Uh, I've never had anybody unsatisfied. I'm gonna guess the amount of logs that we have here, uh, we could easily do in two hours on the mill. And there's probably a thousand board feet. So you guys can figure out the math on that. Uh, call it all red oak and you know what the yield is for the owner so thanks for watching and uh, we have some cool videos and some some new things coming up that I think uh, that you guys will be interested in and uh, I'm gonna let M and Jade surprise you with that so thank you again and we're seeing you next time